YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Money Shift. We are back and we are introducing a new vehicle to the channel. That is correct. The Ford Bronco has left my driveway, but in its place, we got something pretty cool. So I'm going to give you guys the keys and we're going to take a walk around. With the keys in your hands, I am excited to introduce the brand new 2022 Hyundai Kona N. Well, it's not brand new. It's just brand new to the channel. This car is actually used with 6,000 miles on the clock. This is a crossover that is absolutely packed with tons of features and loads of performance, and I could not resist putting it on the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the car, share why I decided to buy it, and talk about the future videos that I have planned for this vehicle. So buckle up, strap in, and let's take a closer look at the 2022 Hyundai Kona N. Now, the proportions of this vehicle are very unique. This car is actually sized right along with something like a Volkswagen GTI, but because it's slightly lifted, it is called an SUV. This car truly is a hatchback, and for us in the States, we didn't get access to something like a Hyundai i30N, so if we want that N power plant, but we don't want the three-door quirkiness of the Veloster, this really is the only option. And you actually aren't making a lot of concessions by going Kona N versus something like the Veloster N. And I got to be honest, of the three vehicles, I think this looks the best. I love the styling of the Kona overall, and I think the changes that they made on the facelift, like this rear bar that houses the reverse light and the blinkers, and the changes that they made versus the regular Kona to go from regular Kona to Kona N do enough to make this car look sporty and look aggressive, but not too much as to overdo it and make it look boy racer, something like a first generation Civic Type R or something like an STI very much so looks boy racer. But this car is a car that I could bring to work and not feel, you know, potentially embarrassed by it. My favorite feature is that rear wing. I I think it sets off this car brilliantly. I love the look of it, and it is in large part to that rear wing. So let's actually walk around the car and get underneath the hood where we can talk about what makes the Kona N a Kona N, because a lot of people see this and they see an N line and they get it confused, but I'm here to squash all of that. Now, underneath the hood of the 2022 Hyundai Kona N is a familiar power plant. If you guys know the Veloster N, if you know the Elantra, and you know the exact engine that we're dealing with here. It is a two liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. In the Kona N, you get 286 horsepower and 289 pound-feet of torque with more on tap, but we'll get to that a little bit later. That engine is mated to an eight-speed wet dual clutch. That part is important, and it is a Hyundai-derived transmission. This is not a ZF unit. It is a great engine overall, and the packaging in the Kona is just right. Now, this is a big step up from something like a regular Kona that gets a 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine. So definitely a big power improvement. Now on the styling front, there are a lot of changes that make the Kona N a Kona N. So let's walk through them very quickly. Now, the 2022 Hyundai Kona is the facelifted model, so you get the updated lighting, but the Kona N does have a very different front bumper with actually a lot of fake portions. I don't know if you can call it fake because they're kind of blocked out, but the whole part of the grill isn't open. Only the edges are closed. I thought that was a little bit weird up close, but you know, you don't really see it. And then there are these fake vents that are reminiscent of like an Audi R8 in the grill, which is a bit annoying. But hey, overall, I think the front end of this car does look very nice and super aggressive. I think they did a great job at figuring out how the heck to make a Hyundai Kona look more aggressive they did that with this car now as we wrap around to the wheels section these are 19 inch alloys wrapped in pirelli p0 summer tires these wheels themselves are 
forged, then I actually love this design. If I wasn't planning on extensively modifying this car, I would be happy with these wheels. I think they look great. They are absolutely horrendous to keep clean. As you can see, the brakes on this car emit tons of dust, and getting into each of these crevices is going to be mildly annoying, but hey, it is what it is. Now, the Kona N separates itself from the Kona because it has this painted fender, which does wonders for the exterior appearance of this car. It makes it look more luxurious. It makes it look more cohesive. It makes it look less like an off-road LARPer, so I'm a big fan of that painted fender. But let's make our way to the inside to talk about briefly some of the changes to this car versus a traditional Hyundai Kona. Now, inside this car, you see a couple things right off the bat. You see this steering wheel, you see the no grin and grin shift, you see the two end buttons. On the right side, you have all of your cruise control. This car does have lane keep. On the left side, you have access to your volume. You have a large screen in the center, a digital screen out front, wireless charging, heated seats, dual clutch, which is solid. These seats are a little bit wider than something that you would find in an Elantra N or a Veloster N. So for someone like myself, that is a little bit better, six feet. Uh, you know, 290 pounds on the dot. So these seats I fit in just fine. Now, when I sit behind myself, I keep that seat for me. So again, I'm six feet tall. And looking at this, I have virtually no legroom. I could fit an eight by 10 piece of paper in between there, but I would ask the person in front of me to move up if I was sitting behind myself. And I actually don't have a ton of headroom. This is why I communicate the fact that the Hyundai Kona N is a hatch. This is not an SUV. A lot of times when people think of SUVs, they think of oodles of space in the front and the rear but that just isn't the case with the Kona. You are buying practicality and a neat city car, which is great. The windows go all the way down. You do have two cup holders, and there is a USB outlet in the back for charging, but there is only one map pocket, which is a bit interesting, but I don't carry around a lot of passengers, so that isn't the end of the world for me, not a deal breaker by any stretch. Wrapping our way around to the trunk, the Kona does have a good amount of space here. Now, something like the Honda Civic Hatch, We'll actually have a lot more room back here, or like an Integra, but the opening in this Kona N is solid, the floor is low, and both seats can go flat to give yourself oodles and oodles of space. I've done plenty of Costco runs already with no issues in this car, and I love the dimensions overall. I think it's perfect for someone like me who at this time has no kids, no dog, no anything, and occasionally carries around a lot of things. The Kona N just has the perfect size for that. But before we sign off, I just wanted to show you guys very quickly how this lighting system works because I know a lot of people get it confused. In the rear, that brake light is the top, but the hazards are on the bottom. But on the front side, the DRL and the hazards are the same light with the bottom light fixture taking care of the low beams and the high beams at night. We'll go into that a little further in an extensive review later on, but for now, I'll take those keys back and we'll wrap up this video. There you have it. The 2022 Hyundai Kona N has officially been announced and you guys got the keys for a walk around so you could see what we're dealing with. Let me know what you think about the newest money ship vehicle in the comments. And we got a ton of content coming on this car. Number one, I'm going to talk to you guys about the trade that we made, where I purchased this car and how that went down and how you can save a bunch of money doing the same and then we're going to run it through our full gambit of tests interior full review mpg track time autocross time you name it we're going to do it and word on the street says we might even be modifying this one so definitely stay tuned hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified for everything money shift car news long-term reviews and motorsports updates i'm t we'll see you in the next one